All right, guys, it's me, Mr. Rasmussen, the woodbender here. Today, we are going to be making a slide uh, playground in Tinkercad. So go ahead and open up Tinkercad, go to designs, go new. We're going to make a new design, 3D. It's going to look something, start out like that with the slide. All right, once we're in here, the first thing we want to do is give this a name. It'll just give you a random name. We wanted a name that we're going to remember. So I'm going to say playground underscore video because I'm making this for the video. Once we have that, then I'm going to come down here to my settings. And I want to change the size of my grid. I'm going to change this to 400 by 400. Just make this twice as big. No, not 400 there we go and then if you just press X it's already set to it now we need a slide to find the slide if we go just search shapes it'll be in here and we're actually looking for spring is the name of this one that we want spring I believe here it is right here so I'm just gonna click and drag and bring this spring into our grid um, once I have this I'm going to click the corner I'm going to press and hold shift and start dragging this out once it starts dragging out and growing I'm gonna click this number I'm gonna change this to 80 and press enter and then it'll grow proportionately proportionally as long as we made it be um, as long as we were holding shift as we started to grow that shape all right, I'm going to change the color of this. No one wants a gray slide. Um, let's go red. Why not? All right, we got this red slide now. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control D. That duplicates the slide. There's two of them there now. I can only see one. They're just right on top of each other. But now I'm going to go Control plus 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 or Control up four times. Sorry, not Control plus. It's Control up four times. Once you've done that, go ahead and open this menu. We want this one to be a hole. So go ahead and click hole. And now I'm going to select both of these with my selection tool. I select both and I'm going to press group. That's going to group both of these together. And now just like that, I have a slide. Ooh, ooh, this is nice. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Okay, next we're going to grab the slide, press and hold control and press up twice. We're just going to, or I did three times there. Just to get it off the ground a little bit, uh, the slide just, that's just how it should be. All right, the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to need to make some support so that this isn't just a floating slide. You don't ever go to the park and just see a floating slide. So we're going to grab this cylinder here and just bring it onto our grid. This cylinder, we're going to want to add a bevel to it, make it two. I can just, once I start changing it, I can just type two right here. That gives the bevel shape right there. I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to bring it and I'm going to press and hold shift as I'm doing that. And let's go down to six. All right, we got this really small one to start out with. We're just going to bring it out right over to the underneath this, this, the slide. So I can use the arrow keys to also move it. And this is get this is a little better for me because I can see the shadow ring. It helps me know right where I should go. Okay, I can go a little closer this way. Let's move a little closer and just make sure it doesn't poke through. As long as it doesn't poke through, we're all good. Okay, so we got our first support done. So now that we have that first one, let's go ahead and just grab another cylinder, bring it on out, give this one the same tube for the bevel, and then let's shrink this one down as well. Press and hold shift, start bringing it down, bring it down to seven, press enter. And now that we're right here, we can see we have the shadow, that we're in the shadow, just bring the top up until we touch the slide, and I can see that I'm not poking out. Uh, by poking out, I mean going like this. We don't want it to be poking out. We don't want to hit our bum while we're trying to go down the slide. So let's uh, go ahead and keep that right where it is. 
Now I can just click on this guy, press Control D, copy and paste this, duplicate it, and let's go about right here. Let's bring it up. Same, same thing. Same fish, different pond. And that's looking pretty good to me. And let's do one more. So Control D, click, drag, find right where I want. Let's move a little bit more like this. This is looking really good to me. And bring this up, make it touch. And now we have some supports in place. I'm not loving the orange and red together. So let's change this one to yeah, light pink. Light red or pink. How about this one? No, that looks terrible. <laughs> no, I'm going to stick with pink. Red and pink go, can go together. Salmon. This is more like a salmon color. Okay, now I'm going to make some stairs so that I can get to the top of the slide. Let's get rid of this menu. And we're going to need to be at this view of our slide. The bottom's right here. And I need to be looking at the slide straight on like this. I'm going to grab a cube, bring it into existence, keep the length. So here we go, it shows us the, the size right here. We need the length to stay at 20 on this end, but we need this side to change to 5. Change that to 5 and then change the height to 2 and press enter. Then we're going to click and do control up. Let's go four times. So now we have a floating object. We're going to grab the work plane tool and we're going to select the top of this stair right here. Now if I drag anything into existence, it drags into existence on top of that plane. Not on the ground, but on that plane. That's what we want. So grab a cylinder, bring this cylinder into existence, and then, let's see, then I need to press and hold shift and bring it to, bring it down and take it to two and press enter. All right, so now we have just a tiny cylinder. Oops, tiny cylinder. Select both of these guys, and then we're gonna use the Align It tool, which is this one right here. We have Align It, we wanna click red. Clicking red makes it the master. That means we're gonna move the cylinder to the master. So select this one to move it centered this way, and then center it this way as well. Okay, now we're looking good. Now go ahead, we can uh, use the work plane, bring it back to the, back to the ground and then select the cylinder and now move the height up and bring this up to 15 and press enter and then with this cylinder again get this menu and let's give it a bevel let's do one to start out yeah just subtle but it makes it look nice um, now let's select both of these shapes and let's make this a brown color uh, I don't quite like that one let's do this one so now it looks like it's wood looks like it's a wooden stair okay now that's it for part one uh, in part two we're going to build these stairs make it go all the way to the top and we're going to end up finishing this playground so follow along in part two